The bacteriological filter is an essential component of your W&H Lisa sterilizer. It filters the air entering the chamber when drying the load, ensuring the air does not become recontaminated. The filter can be found behind the service door. Prior to undertaking any regular maintenance work to your sterilizer, all health and safety, cross-infection and cross-contamination protocols must be followed. Gloves and safety goggles should be worn. Before proceeding to replace the filter, you must ensure your sterilizer is not running a cycle. The bacteriological filter should be replaced at regular intervals of 400 cycles or every three months, whichever is sooner. By replacing the filter, you ensure your sterilizer has a component that remains effective at filtering the air which passes through it. If the bacteriological filter is heavily discolored with dust, it should be replaced immediately. Your Lisa sterilizer will automatically prompt you when the life of the bacteriological filter has expired and needs to be replaced. Alternatively, you may view the number of cycles completed by the filter from within the maintenance screen of the menu. To change your filter, unscrew the filter in a counterclockwise direction until it can be fully removed. The old filter can now be disposed of in a domestic waste container. A new filter can now be fitted. Remove the new filter from its packaging, insert it into the thread and rotate in a clockwise direction until it becomes tight. Once a new filter has been fitted, navigate to the maintenance screen within the menu. From here you can perform a manual reset of the bacteriological filter counter. Resetting the counter will ensure that the maintenance reminder automatically reappears after another 400 cycles have been completed. Now navigate back to the cycle selection screen to return your Lisa sterilizer ready for normal operation. Further information on product maintenance, compliance testing and current national decontamination guidance can be found on this website. For all other inquiries, please click Contact Us or email us at the following address.